How's it going YouTube? Uh, Tyler Polaris here guys. Finally getting the chance to make another video. I apologize. I've been moving and a lot of other stuff, work and stuff like that. I've been busy for the past two months. But um, this moving and stuff made me get get some content to make a new video. Um, and the content of this video is obviously going to be a swamp cooler versus an air conditioning unit. So um, I'll give you a rundown of each and kind of which one I think is better and why and for what situation. So. Um, first off, a swamp cooler is um, uh, run by you put water in a tank, essentially, and it sucks the water up, it puts it into a uh, filter, and it pushes air through it, which makes the air cool, and then it, um, it adds humidity to the air. So if you live in a dry environment, like I live in Colorado, so it's really dry here, um, it helps bring humidity into your house, keeps it moisture and stuff like that. Um, however, though, if your whole if your house is still hot after the swamp cooler which it probably will be it's gonna make it a humid hot so that's one thing I don't really care for is it can actually make the heat worse in areas where if you're not directly in the swamp cooler it'll add humidity throughout the house and it'll make it so it's hot in other parts of your house um, also like I said you have to fill it up with water uh, the one I have I bought it at Lowe's I think it holds like five or so gallons and you basically have to fill it if you run it on medium you have to fill it like every, I want to say it's like 8 to 12 hours. It's somewhere in there. Um, you know, and there's safety stuff so it won't run it out of water and mess it up. It, it's all, it's technology. It's not going to do that. Um, so, um, that's that. Um, the swamp coolers are a lot more work to, in my opinion, over the AC units to maintain and keep running. And um, if you have a dog, it's kind of a pain in the ass because the dog hair, you have to open the machine constantly to add water to it. And um, if your dog sheds uh, twice a year, so 365 days a year in two different cycles, um, the hair gets in the machine, the hair gets in the water tank, I think it's a lot more maintenance. So that's the only thing I don't care for. It, it's a little bit cheaper than an AC unit. I think it was like for the same size of one I got, they're about the same size for the coverage they, they, um, that they cool. I think it was about 20, 25 bucks cheaper. So a little bit cheaper. Um, but that's that. The one good thing though that I really love about the Swamp Cooler is how light it is. You can pick it up with one hand and carry it. Um, granted that is empty. If you have a bunch of water in it, obviously that adds weight and you make a water mess everywhere. So they are light, they are easy to carry, um, but you do have to do more general maintenance is how I want to preventative and general maintenance and stuff like that. So AC units though. Moving on to the AC unit. Um, AC units I like because they, you have different kinds of units for different types of how you can put them in the window. So with an AC unit, you have to have it exposed to the outside window. Whereas with a, a swamp cooler, you don't. But the AC unit puts out like exhaust and all this stuff. And it's, so it, it needs to be venting towards the outside of the house. Unless you, you know, feel like having cancer or something. Um, but, um, so there's different ways to hook them up. You know, the most common ones you see for residential are like the ones that go in the window and that's the one I bought. I bought one that covers 250 square feet. It's enough for my living room but it's really all I had for options wise. Um, they have a lot of the AC units that have those long plastic pieces that extend and contract and they have like the, the circle or the oval hole whatever it is and you just put that in the window and you secure it with the window and then you tape it in yada 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 and then it sucks the air in from the outside and then it um, it uh it vents, yeah. So it, they're all a little bit different. It just depends on the type of AC unit you get with how it needs to work. So for my predicament where I live, I couldn't get one of the ones, one of the bigger ones. I, I had to get a small unit. I only had a small window. I had like 21 inches to work with. And I got one, I had 20 and a half inches and I got one that fit for 21 inches is the smallest I could find. And it, and it fit, I got it to fit in the window and I had about half an inch to spare. So, um, the one, unless I did it wrong or however I installed it, I got it to fit and it works fantastic. So, installing an AC unit, so for me, um, at my house, I have it on the downstairs in the living room. And that's on the downstairs. So, when you secure it out the window, what does this create? It creates more of a security issue. So granted, I secured it into the window, as it said, and then I put in extra security to secure my window because your window is, unless you have you know a special type of lock or something like that, I secured 
some metal beam bars in them. I drove them into the side of the, the window frame and into the frame of the house to hold the window in place so it can't lift because technically if you lift that window up and I secured it on the bottom too, if you lift the window up, the AC unit can fall out. So if somebody really wanted to steal it, I mean, granted, if somebody wants to steal something, they're going to steal something. But it's to help, to make it difficult, make them work for it. So if they want to steal it, I mean, they're going to have to work for it. And also, like I said, it does create a security issue. It makes it so your house, your window's not locked. Granted, yes, somebody could come just break the window and come in as well. But honestly, somebody would just have to break the locks and push it up. That would be pretty tough to do with how I did it. But still, what I'm saying is this creates a security issue. So if you have it on a downstairs like I do, someone can literally just walk up like how mine said you could walk up and stand and rip it out if you wanted to. But that's the only option I have. And I don't feel like sweating to death. So I'm going to, yeah, I'll take that. Everything's insured in the house and it is what it is. That's why you have insurance, essentially. Um, the other thing with the AC unit, though, is um, so it's obviously it's more work to install. But after that, you're basically done. You run it, and yeah, you, you have to clean the air filter every couple weeks. That's really easy to do. Um, and you have to sometimes, if there's a lot of humidity and moisture, you have to drain it. So you got to go on the outside of the unit, put a plug in, and drain it. Um, I haven't had to do that yet, but um, that is a chance. But other than that, unless it, you just do, I think you literally just have to clean the filter. Is all that my instruction manual said, just clean the air filter. And it'll actually tell you on the machine when you have to clean it. So it's technology. Um, the one thing with the AC unit though is, is they're heavy as shit. So, um, it took, it, it was a two person install. I had to have somebody literally like hold the window and help me put it in. So it's a little harder to install. Um, and once you kind of get them, you don't want to move them. And I know I had a big, like a mobile AC unit with a big hose that goes out the window at the last place I lived. And that thing weighed, it was probably, I want to say over 150 pounds, just the unit, not including all the attachments. It was terrible and they're awkward to carry. So um, definitely AC units are very, very, very heavy. Um, they are more expensive and if stuff goes wrong with them, they're more expensive to fix. However, when you buy it, register it. Every new item you buy, especially nowadays, you register it and you usually get a one or a two year warranty. Keep the receipt and if something really goes that wrong with it, take it back to Home Depot or Lowe's, wherever you bought it. They'll take it back as long as you have a receipt and they'll just return it to the vendor. I mean, I know they say they don't take it, but trust me, I've worked at both, actually, both, Lowe's and Home Depot, I've worked at both, and I'll tell you, the stuff they take back, if you have a receipt, they'll take damn near anything back, and, um, but just register and you're covered, um, and it, they do draw, AC units draw a lot of power, so you have to have a designated outlet just for that AC unit, you have to have it just that, like, they, they, it says in the instructions, don't have anything else running off this outlet, you want to have one whole outlet just for the AC unit. So um, obviously this is for fire hazard, fire safety, um, and so you don't short something, you don't blow a breaker, stuff like that. There's a lot of stuff behind it. But um, that sums it up for really both. Um, overall, this is just me. Um, I wish I would I, I wish I could replace the swamp cooler I have in the other part of the house and put an AC unit, but where it's at, there's no way I can do that because my window design. So I'm kind of limited there. So. This would be my advice. My advice is to buy an AC unit first. Yeah, you're gonna spend more money. They're heavy and they're terrible to install, but you know what? They work so much better. The cooling is so much better. You just turn them on. You don't gotta put water in them, none of that stuff. Um, that would be my advice to go and do that. And then if you can't fit an AC unit or if you don't wanna lift it, it's too heavy. If you have other circumstances, then buy a swamp cooler. But the swamp cooler is just, it's a lot of work for a swamp cooler. Um, and, um, personally, um, the, I think the amount of cold air that comes out of it for what you pay and stuff like that, and, or for how much work you have to put in, excuse me, not pay for, you know, the amount of effort you have to put in to make it work, I don't think it's worth it. Um, but they are, they are good. They add humid to the house, you know, they make it so it's not so dry and then they do cool i'm not gonna lie it's not like they don't cool because they do and the colder the water that you put in there like a lot of people if you put ice water in that um like my buddy he has a big one and he puts a big thing of ice in there and, and then water and it'll and it makes the air even colder so the colder water you put in the better you are so if you have the access to put a bunch of ice in it you can do that as well um and um yeah that sums it up any comments questions anything like that uh, throw it in the in the comment section and I'll answer it to the best that I can um, 
And yeah, thanks for watching and have a good one.